Hello everyone. Now we will see how to design a second order Butterworth high pass filter. So here we are taking pass point gain is AF equal to 2 that means forward gain we are taking it as 2. So we have the formula for non-inverting amplifier to calculate the forward gain AF equal to 1 plus RF divided by R1. We are assuming R1 and RF as 1 kilo ohm. So forward gain it is 2. So the meaning here is whatever the input we will going to give the output will be twice that of the input signal. Suppose cutoff frequency is given to be 2 kilohertz. So we are taking FC equal to 2 kilohertz. Since we are designing high pass filter the meaning here is up to 2 kilohertz the filter will not allow the signal. Once it reaches 2 kilohertz it will allow all the signals which are above 2 kilohertz. So we have the formula to calculate R. R equal to 1 by 2 pi fc so 1 by 2 pi f is 2 kilohertz which we have assumed and c also we have assumed to 0 0.01 microfarad so value of resistance is 7.95 kilo ohm so the standard value or the nearest value we are taking is 7.5 kilo ohm so in our diagram we are using r2 and r3 so r2 and r3 we are taking it as 7.5 kilo, kilo ohm so the basic difference between first order and second order Butterworth filter is so the C1, C2 and R1, R2 are interchange. In the case of LPF, in the place of C1 there was R1, in the place of C2 there was R2, in the place of R2 and R3 there were C1 and C2 respectively. Now if you interchange that one that will be I pass filter. So now coming to the connections. So we have connected the circuit as shown in the diagram. So all the connections are made as per the diagram. So we have used C1 and C2, R2 and R3 and R1 and R2 which were same as set of the low pass filter. Now the input we have taken same as set of the low pass filter. It is around 2 volts. Now to check the output. So we will be varying the frequency. So initially it is some around 196 or 200 hertz. I am slowly varying. So we are also getting some amplitude here. So we are getting some signals. As we increase the frequency, gain will also increase. At certain point, when it reaches the cutoff frequency, then all the signals will be passed. So now the frequency is around 1.8 or 1.9 kilohertz. The amplitude here what I am getting is 2 multiplied by 2. So total 4 volts. Input is 2 volts. Output is 4 volt. That means gain is 2 according to our design. So for 2 kilohertz we are getting the gain around 4. So now I am increasing the frequency. I am increasing this one but still it remains constant around 4 volts. I have moved to 6 kilohertz, 7, 8 kilohertz, 9, 10, 11, 12. So even if I move up to 15, 16 kilohertz the gain remains constant. Initially it was slowly increasing after cutoff frequency FC it remains constant. So we can vary the frequency and we can note down different values of gain. So coming to the graph, how to plot the graph? Here similar to low pass filter, we have plotted gain versus frequency. Gain is in x axis, sorry y axis and frequency is in x axis. So at certain point of time, the gain becomes constant. So slowly it will increase at certain point of time it will become constant. So if it, this is maximum value so I have to come 3 dB downwards. So this I call it as 3 dB line. So the point where 3 dB line and the curve meets. So this is the point and I will plot or I will draw a vertical line which I call it as FC. So this FC is nothing but cutoff frequency which will be approximately equal to 2 kilohertz. Then for example if it is 2 kilohertz then 
I have to take Fc by 10, divide the Fc value by 10, which is obviously less than Fc. So that will be towards the origin. So Fc minus 10, Fc divided by 10 minus Fc. So that will be our roll of factor. So which should be approximately equal to the theoretical value.